These tiles are made with smog. Black soot gets baked into their cement designs. The founders of the Indian company that makes them say this is a major step toward a new era of sustainable building. But how do they get tiny airborne particles into a solid material? And can these really make a difference in a country with some of the world's worst air quality? Black carbon comes from burning fossil fuels. It's the stuff that darkens the skies over Indian cities. It's dangerous to breathe, it reduces crop yields, and it contributes to global warming. So how did India's air quality get so bad? It starts at home, where many cook with wood and dung. Both create a lot of smoke. And then there's traffic. The number of vehicles on the road has more than quadrupled since 2003. Pollution is worst at the onset of winter. That's when farmers burn agricultural waste. Diseases triggered by air pollution kill over 1 million people in India every year. That's 10 to 20 times higher than the rate in the United States. The good news is that black carbon is short-lived. It only stays in the air for a few weeks. It's not like carbon dioxide, an invisible gas that can warm the atmosphere for centuries. The problem is that people in India burn so much stuff, the air never has time to clear. So preventing black carbon from getting up there in the first place could make a difference. That's the big idea for Tejas Signal, an architect and the inventor of carbon tiles. This carbon is what is in your lungs and my lungs right now. I'll show you around how our office looks like and what we do. He launched Carbon Craft Design in 2020 to create marketable products that upcycle waste. Tejas sources most of the carbon from companies that would otherwise release it into the atmosphere. Like this facility that recycles tires. The factory produces loads of black carbon that usually gets sold as cheap fuel. But when that gets burned, it puts the pollution back into the atmosphere. Carbon Craft interrupts this cycle and puts the toxic powder in its tiles. It comes in these huge sacks, dry and absolutely pitch black. The sacks go to a factory that has been making tiles by hand for 35 years. Many mass-produced tiles only harden in kilns burning at high temperatures. But carbon tiles made from cement are never baked, so the process doesn't require a lot of energy. This is also the lowest carbon footprint way of making a tile. We thought, why don't we adopt this? Tejas places an order whenever he secures a new customer. The workers follow a process that's been around for over 200 years. Now, they replace some ingredients with black carbon. carbon cement proportion white cement, powder, marble powder aur apna ye carbon wo sab mix dal diya hai bowl mil ke andar abhi isko hum log mix karne wale hai jo aadha ghanta ye ghumega bowl mein once the powder reaches a smooth consistency they mix it with water to create a slurry the amount of black carbon in the mix determines the shade of the cement ye sab mein carbon dala hua hai ek mein thoda kam hai ek mein medium hai ek mein zyada carbon dala jaise hum log ko color tone chahiye us hisab se hum log carbon dalte hain it takes skill to get the consistency right. Too much water and the tile won't hold together. Too little can ruin the pattern. Every design has its own metal stencil. Workers pour the slurry into the voids. One of the hardest parts is to get crisp lines, so workers have to move quickly. Remove that stencil at a flick so that it doesn't have a distorted design. And then they add the backing layer. That also has carbon. The first layer is more for the aesthetics and the pattern that really comes out. The back layer is for strength. The factory's only hydraulic press squeezes the tile into shape and helps it set. 
फिर पंच रख के उसको हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस में दो सेकंड तक प्रेस करते हैं The firmed up tiles still need to strengthen through a process called water curing. That means they get hosed down every day for nearly a month. तो हर एक डेढ़ घंटे में पानी लगाना पड़ता है. Workers give the fully cured tiles a rough polish and a final rinse before they get packaged for sale. All carbon tiles are made to order. The company says it can make as many as 200 of them in a day. The cost of one tile is less than two dollars. That's comparable in price to cement tiles that don't contain carbon. The biggest order we've had is about 100 square feet. Carboncraft has only done about 10 installations across India in the past year. They consider these pilot projects. At the moment, we are working with a lot of architects, interior designers, who are keen to solve this larger problem of air pollution. Like Manan, a general contractor in Mumbai. So these are the carbon tiles that we've installed in my room. Basic eight by eight slabs in plain grey colour. This was the first time they've ever been installed anywhere in the world. But installation is tricky. Cement tiles require a lot of extra polishing, even after they're put in place. So it could range anywhere between three to four sets of the whole process. which is about say 15 to 20 odd days other mass produced tiles that harden under high heat skip this part but manan's business partner says the benefits to the environment outweigh the drawbacks he's happy with the results and recommends the tiles to clients and it is something very small that we're doing right now but you know it can have a big impact if we put it on a larger scale Tejas got the inspiration for carbon tiles when he was a graduate student. I've always tried to see how we can make buildings which are inspired from nature. And nature doesn't have any waste. For his team members, the motivation to tackle air pollution is personal. I got asthma. It's from childhood. I have suffered a lot because of air pollution. To my family, my father and my sister are allergic to everything. But he's relying on this small group of architects and designers to take carbon craft to the next level. Once we are able to scale this to one million square feet, we'll be able to get into the mass affordable segment from here. That will have a large scale impact and uh, applicability.